Welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about some other details of numeric data items. If you are declaring a numeric data item, you should remember that you cannot declare numeric variable more than 18 digits. It doesn't matter where you place the decimal. The size of the variable cannot exceed 18 digits. Under many circumstances, you may want to handle numbers that are both positive and negative or sign numbers. You specify a sign numeric field by placing an S immediately after the picture clause and before the nines that represent the position of the number. However, like the decimal point, the sign does not take up any storage position. When the data is to be shared among different computers or different programming languages, you might want to make the sign of the number a separate character thus eliminating any problems with the differences in the internal representation. To do so, add the sign separate clause to the definition of the field. With this clause, you must specify the position of the sign in relation to the rest of the number. Both negative and positive signs are represented. The positive with a plus character and the negative with a minus. When sign separate is used, the sign takes up a position of storage. In line 30, the sign leads the data value, a positive number is represented by a leading plus sign and a negative with a leading minus. For example, plus 00010.00 and minus 00010.00. Line 32 shows an example with a sign trailing. Notice the omission of the words is and character. Many COBOL statements may be abbreviated in this fashion. With this we have reached the end of this lesson. I hope it has given you a fair idea about numeric data items. Till then keep practicing. See you.